This video describes how to enter new policies for a customer in QQ Catalyst. Start by going to the customer contact and then click on the new policy button. On the adding a new policy screen, you have two choices for policy type, monoline and package. This screen changes depending upon the policy type you choose. You may only select one line of business for a monoline policy. For a package policy, you can choose whether it's a commercial or personal package and select multiple lines of business. For now, we will focus on monoline policies and we will get back to package policies later in the video. Select the line of business for the policy and the writing carrier. If your writing carrier is not listed, contact the agency administrator to add it. If there is an MGA or broker, select that as well. Enter the policy number if available. Otherwise, the system default is pending. Enter the effective date and choose the policy term. If you don't have an effective date, you can add it later. Once you click Next, your policy will be saved and you will enter the guided workflow. Navigation in the guided workflow is simple and intuitive. You can move around by clicking on the guided workflow tabs. You can click on the next tab to go forward in the workflow and the previous tab to go back in the workflow. Use the guided workflow tabs to go directly to the specific section that you need. Clicking on the page number section will move you back or forward one screen. While you are working, if you have to go to a different part of QQ Catalyst, you can always stack where you are and come back later. On the policy info screen, choose the coverage from the drop down menu. These selections will be different based upon the line of business you select. If an effective date is entered, the expiration date field will automatically populate based on the term selected. On the additional info screen, select your billing type, policy source, and premium sent. You will be the default agent in the agent field, but you can change the agent or CSR to a different employee. Select as many producers as you need on the policy. On the Policy Premium Carrier Fee screen, enter the base premium. The base premium is the premium minus any endorsements, taxes, or fees. To add a fee, click on Add Carrier Fee and select the one you need. The fees listed are based upon your settings and location preferences. Fee values can be overridden if they are incorrect. Multiple carrier fees can be added. Commissions are automatically calculated as you will see once we finish the guided workflow. QQ Catalyst bases these commission calculations on the setup for the employees and the carrier. Agency fees are fees collected by the agency and are not applied to the carrier. Fee values can be overwritten if they are incorrect, and multiple agency fees can be added. The next few tabs in the guided workflow will change depending upon the line of business selected. You are seeing the personal auto line of business, so the tabs include drivers, vehicles, and On the driver screen, you may either import a contact that is associated with this policy's contact or you can simply add a driver to add the contact you need. Multiple drivers and vehicles can be added to a policy. Type in any remarks and then click finish. That is how you enter a monoline policy. Now, we are going to switch gears for a moment to show you how to enter a package policy. Select package as your policy type and then select the correct package type. Select all the lines of business applicable to the policy. The package policy workflow 
is different from the monoline policy workflow. You will enter information about each line of business of your package policy on the Line of Business Info screen. When you click on the Lines of Business Info tab, you will see a screen that shows each line you have chosen for the package. You can add or remove lines of business here if you need to do so. When you have completed entering information for a line of business, click on Return to Lines of Business Info so that you can complete information for the remaining lines in your package. When you are done, click Finish to save your package policy information. The policy has now been created. At this point, you can view and edit the information. Here's what you have just seen in this video. How to add a new monoline policy using the guided workflow. How to add a new package policy using the guided workflow. And how to stack. Additional selections can be added to the following fields. Writing carriers, MGAs, lines of business, coverages, policy sources, carrier fees, and agency fees. Please contact your agency administrator to add selections to these fields.